Welcome back to the International Sportsman's Expo. I'm Adam Eagle, host of KSL Outdoors, and today we're giving you a tour of the show, showing you some of the things you can see and buy and even try. One of those is the Rex Fly. Rex, how you doing, man? I'm good, Adam. It's been a while. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah, so you started what is called the Rex Fly casting system. What is it? Right, well, let me show you. Well, first, Every fly fisherman needs a rod holder, right? I yeah, I'm always laying mine on the ground, or you're worried about your rod getting stepped on, right? Exactly. You're rowing a kayak, you're rowing your pontoon boat, you got both hands free. Here's where it gets a little crazy, though. Watch this. I'm going to go ahead and take the reel off the rod. I'm going to cast without the reel on there. It's going to make it lighter and easier to cast. You're going to cast all day long without wearing out your arm, wearing out your shoulder, and we actually guarantee you will cast farther now. Really? Well, look at this. It's that quick. Slide your rod back on. Very cool. So here, you see, it's locked on your chest. And just that quick, it's back on your rod. You don't need any new equipment. You're going to use your rod, your reel, but it's going to feel like you bought a brand new fly rod when you take that reel off. That is cool. It's, you know what? It makes it a lot easier, too, because you're actually going to tangle less now, too. Because remember, when we're casting, it's always this line from our reel. And we're flipping all over the place. It gets tangled on stuff, especially, you know, the oars in your pontoon boat and sure. your kayak. Here, you see when I cast now? That line doesn't move. That line's gonna sit perfectly on the stripping apron of your float tube, your pontoon boat, and you actually avoid tangles. Yeah. Then when you get a big fish, you know, the last thing you wanna see is this line whip up and wrap around there, wrap around the butt of your That's happened to you before, sure, right? Sure, sure. Hate to bring up some bad memories for you. <laughs> so this is what we do. We get a big fish, you don't rush to put your reel back on. You just let it come tight right here on your chest. Now there's nothing to tangle on. That's so when we go ahead and slide it on, fight our fish like we normally would. Then you go ahead and net them, and now you're not dropping your rod in the rocks or the bushes. Sure. You got, you know, especially never set it down on the side of your pontoon boat or your float tube. I've met way too many people that have lost rods doing that. Or broken them. I mean, exactly. I mean you spend six, seven, eight, nine, honey, don't listen, a thousand dollars sometimes on a rod and reel combo. Yeah. You don't want to break it. How did you come up with the idea? You know, I got tendonitis in my elbow mm -hmm. about seven years ago from casting so much. I just had to make it lighter and easier. And as opposed to, you know, spending $500 for the lightest reel, I thought, well, do you really need the reel on there? And, and I thought, well, they always tell you, you got to balance your rod with your reel. Yeah. Well, I said, well, let's try it. So I just, and, and everyone can do this. I just went to the park, took my reel off, put it on the ground and started casting. And I couldn't believe how much easier it was yeah. and how much lighter. And anyone can do that with their favorite rod and see how, how nice it is to cast without there and then be able to have a nice place to Put your rod, a lot of convenience. Yeah, I, I know that you started this as a Kickstarter campaign a few years ago. I did, I did. We I were the that. first, yeah, we were the first fly fishing product to successfully fun on Kickstarter. It was really great. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. Uh, I looked over here and I noticed you have Mickey's flask pack and yes. it's mounted to the flask pack. It is. So if I put this on, it's that simple. You just mounted it right to the back of his pack. Right. And I imagine a lot of people could do that to most packs or to some yeah, packs. Some packs. And put it on, put and it, there it is. It's really nice. It's it's on the side. It's really convenient. And what I'll do when I'm fishing, like I'm fishing strawberry, and mm -hmm. I cast out in the shallows there, I'll rest my arm right there. <laughs> That's an arm rest. It's like, That's awesome. <laughs> hey Rex, are there any advantages to actually having it other than making your rod lighter? You know, it's it's a great question. I mean. The, the best way to catch fish these days is nymphing. You know, yeah. We call tight line nymphing, and you're holding your arm out over the water and doing this motion thousands of times a day. That way you don't have the weight of the reel weighing down your arm as you're doing this over and over again. And then the saltwater guys, or anyone fishing still water, look at this, you cast out, you're getting better distance in your cast, stick it on here, two hand retrieve like this. Doing a quick strip or right. something, yeah. But you know what, I'll do this actually in my pontoon and float tube for trout at strawberry. I'll strip slow instead of fast, but whenever I strip with two hands, that line lays down in a perfect figure eight on the stripping apron of your float tube. So when you go to cast again, you don't get that bird's nest of line. Yeah, going you, up in just your a strip set mostly when you're doing exactly. that? Exactly, which is always the better way to set the, the hook, as you know. Yeah. The other nice thing is how many times you wrap your fly around the tip of your rod. Yep. Look at that, I can't do that with a reel on there. And picking ice out of your guides in the winter time is really convenient. I'll even let that float out there and change fly lines while I'm in my float tube. Oh yeah. That rod your, the it's cork, so much lighter. It yeah. is. You know, this cork actually floats when you don't <laughs> put a reel yeah, exactly, on there. Exactly, exactly. Very cool. Hey, if people want more information, Rex, where can they find out some more? They can obviously come see you at the show. They can see us here, then get it at Fish Tech or go to Rexfly.com. Really? Also, uh, new Fly Z Fly Shop up in Heber. Uh huh. 
and uh, different shops around the country. People are catching on. Yeah, it's been great. Are there any other applications that people could use this for? You know, as I found, uh, probably the my favorite application, one I'm not going to use, but it's for people with one arm or only have the use of one arm. Okay. They can fly fish with one arm like this. Yeah. We donate these to Project Healing Water so amputee veterans can fly fish, but I have a lot of stroke victims, people with Parkinson's, they're able to fly fish with a reel right on their chest. Yeah. Then this year, we've come out with uh, customized spinning and casting rods that allow people to be able to fish right here on your oh, chest. They can just awesome. take that off. They can cast, put it right back here, and they can fight the fish right here. Wow, They can that's put cool. the tip, tip, tip the rod right in the water. So for some people who thought that they can no longer fish, they can. Exactly. Or, or people who have arthritis, who have a hard time maybe holding a rod, they can fight a fish right here. That's awesome. It's been it's been really rewarding. Really really enjoyed it. How much does something like this cost? Do you have different setups, or are they all we pretty do. much the same? Uh, we have we have the packs like this. Uh, this pack is uh, 130 here at the show. Okay. Uh, this one's 125. These are actually made here in here in Utah. Okay. Uh, more than half our products are actually made right here in Utah. Very cool. We're a Utah company. We love to support the local economy here. And if you want just the harness, which you can wear right under a vest. That's normally 85, and we're selling here at the show for 75. Show special. Exactly. What's a lot of this made out of? And, and you said made here in Utah, or made here in the US. What's yep. a lot of it made out of? Uh, this is glass-filled nylon made up in Ogden. Okay. Uh, and these are aluminum, uh, saltwater ready. You know, it's not gonna corrode. Some stainless steel screws and stuff, and you're, you're ready for whether you're fishing fresh or salt water. Very good. Hey, check them out. Rex Fly Casting Systems. I've actually used this on the Weber River. That was a good day, actually. It was a good day. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> check, come and check Rex out at the show as well. I'm Adam Eco, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you at this year's International Sportsman's Expo.